Mom, can I go to my friend's house? Friend's house? No, you can't go. Why? Simply because I have to know the family very well. Uh, I have to make sure what type of house my daughter is going to. Uh, I want to know the family very well. Are they well disciplined? If they have good morals, if they have good values, uh, uh, if she has, I want to make sure that she she doesn't have any uh, male brothers uh, at the time at home. Um, I, I I also want to want to make sure that you might get kidnapped. I have to protect you. You are my responsibility. Mom, that's not fair. You're being so overprotective. Mom, I'm going to my friend's house. Okay, honey. Have fun. But please make sure to be back home before 8. Okay, see you. I want a boyfriend. No, honey. You can't. Why? I mean, everyone have a boyfriend. My friends do. Okay, honey. Uh, in our culture, you are not supposed to have any previous relationships. And if you do, you, you won't be able to get married. Why? Because um, according to our traditions, both the partners on their wedding day, they should be virgin. I'm kind of confused. Can I get an example? Sure, I'll be happy to. Let's, let's explain this. Can you tell me what's this? It's a white paper sheet and a pencil. Can you describe it? It's nil and blank, and it's a new pencil. Yes, you're right. And can you describe this? An old piece of paper and a used one and an old and a used pencil. Exactly. Now let's see that this white paper sheet and the pencil, this white paper sheet represent, uh, represent you on your wedding day and this is your partner. Both of you are new and not used before, which means you doesn't, both of you do not have any previous relationship. Uh, and the writings, now let's say the writings, uh, uh, if the pencil, we use the pencil to do some writing on this paper, uh, uh, the writings represent uh, the outcome, the outcome of your marriage. Now let's say that we use the pencil to do some writings on the paper. How will it look like? Clear? Yes. It's clear because the paper is neat. On the other hand, let's see the other paper. The other paper represent a lady or a girl uh, which is now making a new relationship with the other guy but both of, both of them have previous relationship. So let's say that now they are uh, getting uh, engaged to each other uh, or they are now uh, going to make a new relationship. The pencil, now using the pencil, uh, doing some writings on the on his pep and this paper sheet how do you think the writings on this pep paper will look like you won't be able to see it clear exactly because it has a previous writings on it and now let me ask you a question uh, if you are the one you you, you are to choose to, to to write your name uh on either sheet sheets of paper mm -hmm. which one will you choose the new one exactly now let's make an experiment write your name here uh, can you write your name on both papers uh -huh. using the same pencils? Thank you, honey. Now let's, let's take. 
Now look at the writings. How do they look like? You can see this one clear, but you can't see that one. You can hardly see it. And this is exactly how the marriage will look like. Um, in this case, the marriage will likely be more successful because the, both of them doesn't have any previous relationship. And they, will, they are now making their new home with a new love. Well, this one, I'm not saying that uh, it won't be successful, but uh, it's likely to be less successful than the other one. That's why you have to be, you don't, you don't have to get any boyfriend or have, you don't have to date any boyfriend before getting married. Thank you for the t detailed explanation, Mom. You're so welcome. Love you, honey.